Hello beautiful people. I think I'm live. Please let me know where you're coming, tuning in from so I can say hi. I'm just getting started here. I'm just making sure that I'm live. Hi on my YouTube channel. So um, today, really excited to share with you the secret, the top secrets that I use for my holistic health well, um, routine and practices. And I really want to inspire you yet another step to empower, uh, to inspire you and empower you to take back your holistic health into your own hands and out of the pockets of the big pharma. Uh, this is my passion and purpose, um, you know, path to fulfillment and impact. And I'm really excited to help you go on this journey. I wasn't always happy, healthy and um, whole. I had a lot of um, chronic pain over my life, over this, uh, over about 25 years of it. In fact, cycles of chronic pain and I overcame it and healed myself with a mind body approach a mind body medicine a pro integrative approach that i have now um put together in a program and i help people over especially women overcome chronic pain symptoms um through this integrative process um and uh find their way back to passion purpose and uh, holistic health and wholeness right in this uh, during this beautiful journey so like I said I overcame chronic pain and symptoms I had about 18 different symptoms and I'm going to share with you today um, some of the top habits top um, what I call micro habits that heal that I use daily and I also share and uh, support my clients to put into practice into their daily lives because we absolutely have to understand that we are a product of our physical mental emotional and spiritual habits our pems i call them physical mental emotional and spiritual habits even if you are spiritual or not spiritual this is the case because spirituality has to do with wholeness to do with uh, self-love to do with um <clears throat> finding purpose and meaning on this planet, right? So um, <clears throat> I support people to do that with various different programs. I have a group and individual program, which is uh, the first program is the beginners, which is the wisdom of pain healing process that I take people and support people through. And then the alchemization and catalyzation of pain to power and purpose, which is the second or the, the higher or the kind of intermediate um, uh, process. And then the fight, the continued growth, which I call grow your grow, grow your greatness 1% every single day. So I there are different tiers and different levels that I have, you can have a look, I can post the links below so you can have a look. Um, so we absolutely have to take responsibility for our own health. And this can be a very um difficult and frustrating and you know um desperate time for some people especially if they have chronic pain where do you start where do you be, you know how why do i how do i not fall off these rituals and routines and all these things and so i have a very i've developed a very simple and effective system that creates these micro habits that heal and support um you to take back uh, your health into your own hands and and start today start a practice start a habit a micro habit and these micro habits can be something very very simple like um you know in integrating gratitude into your life it's a it's a physical it's a, a you know a mental habit uh, the physical habit can be introducing um some kind of probiotics or um you know something into you know holistic more in the physical level right so we have to think about all the different levels the physical level the mental level the emotional level and the spiritual level but we have to start somewhere right so i try and integrate help you integrate this with a very simple system but i've shared the whole system and the whole train in another training which you can have a look at i'll put it link it to the just in the description box below 
which I call the system, um, the physical, the micro habits that heal. I'm actually currently writing my book about this. Um, and so that's going to be a nice ebook so I can support people even more. So I've shared the system. I won't share it today, but it's a very simple system that doesn't, that basically helps you build over time in a non-invasive, non-stressful way. And it doesn't, and you help, it helps you not fall off your habits. That's really key because most people start a nice routine or start a nice habit or whatever, and then they don't actually follow through. So this is a system that, uh, that systematically helps you uh, grow your habits and grow your, and, and integrate them into your life, like fully so that you do a habit for a month and then you just integrate another one at the beginning of every month so that you can actually have a, this, this holistic ha um, habits that heal develop over time. So in six months or in one year, you've transformed your life and you've started to take back your health into your own hands, which is so vital. And I am so, so excited to empower people to do this every single day. Just a note here, don't confuse doing with being. So a lot of these habits are doing habits. Some of these habits are also being habits. For example, gratitude, a habit of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude is so key to, to your uh, holistic healing. Um, I, meditation is a you know is a doing, but it's also a being habit. It's how you are showing up in this world. The emotional tools and regulation tools that I show people in many, many videos I have, um they are um i have on my youtube channel lots and lots of soothing videos so they can help to de-stress and and reduce anxiety and bring your cert your nervous system back into a um more regulated and soothed uh place so that you can actually go through life starting to um thrive rather than just in survival mode which is when you're your immune system, your system is on this like alert emergency state, which unfortunately is actually most of the time. So we have to understand that um, our lives are incredibly triggering. And so we have to learn to, you know, micro habits that heal these soothing techniques that we can actually bring in to, um, you know, to, to help soothe and uh, regulate the nervous system and your emotions so that you can actually feel your emotions without overwhelm and um, dis, um, you know, disease, basically. So today I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share with you some of the habits that I, I do every single day integrated, but how I've actually integrated um, and um, how the essential oils, essential oils from doTERRA have transformed my my and supported me in ways that I would never ever imagine um and I want to share with this with you today because it's been an amazing journey um and I'm just I'm so excited to share with you today how they actually support my health um while doing my um holistic habits that heal so that I can actually you know grow my greatness and become the you know excellent um advocate for health and a leader um, so that we can actually start this changing on the planet as we know it, which is right now in a crisis and um, a whole, you know, we need to start building habits and building ourselves into a better world, basically. And I take this fully and, you know, into, and I know it's not easy, but it's absolutely has to happen because we're in a crisis at the moment. Crises are also health crises. Um, whatever crisis you're having is an absolute opportunity for catalyst and growth. Um, we, going through my healing journey, this was what I understood massively is that we can start to use this alchemize and catalyze the pain, the suffering, whatever the suffering may be, if it's a physical suffering, if it's a mental, you know, your thoughts are racing and you can't, you're mental, you, you're panic attacking, you're having, or emotional, you're having so overwhelmed with your emotions of fear and um, hopelessness and sadness or whatever. So all of these things can actually propel us and catalyze us and alchemize us to our next level self, which is what the universe, since we're a part of the universe, we are, uh, you know, the whole in the quantum field, the source, whatever you want, the divine, the God, whatever you want to say it as um, this wholeness, this uh, that we are part of, uh, we need, it's it's calling us, it's, it's, it's designed to make us grow, right? 
So after saying that, let's get back to some of the details. So I've been a holistic health practitioner for 25 years. I've used all kinds of essential oils and from various different companies in my massage therapy practice and healing and the holistic healing techniques. And um, I have never seen doTERRA's uh, essential oils um, have so much. I have never seen the benefits that I've seen with other oils. I, I just it's a completely different level. So it's just they win hands down, basically. And um, you can they can really help you take your uh, health into another level. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to go into some of the specifics now. So if you want, you can just post in the chat. Let me just have a look at the chat where you're coming from and what your intention is for this um, for this live. Hi there. So um, give me give your give me your intention for this live so that I can actually, you know, adapt it accordingly uh, for whoever needs it most. And also, um, you know, write to me, uh, you know, can, you can DM me uh, specific questions, um, whatever you want, so that I can actually you can actually ask me about how you can incorporate oils, essential oils. Uh, doTERRA's essential oils into your life okay so um just looking at the comments thank you so i like i said i've do i've uh, told you about i have another training or another sh uh, video that i share my um holistic habits generally so the habit of, uh, of gratitude that i have the habit of meditation what how i wake up um with um a beautiful song i talk about also a song for you know gratitude and abundance um how my you know my micro habits that heal all over my morning and my afternoon and my evening and how we can stack them and track them and all this kind of stuff is in the in the system the completely for free that you can get uh when you dm me um and also i just a note here that we can you can start to write down if i give you some um you know if you find a habit when I say about this, these habits and how I incorporated the essential oils into them, if you find something that you're, that's an interesting habit, or that's a habit that I would like to put into my life, just write a list, right, of habits in and habits out. So habits that you want to incorporate into your life, right? So you have them in a file and document in a, on a piece of paper and you start writing them down today now as i speak so that you can start getting ideas right so sometimes we just don't have the ideas and just don't have the know-how and so you can start to actually incorporate these habits into your life and i'm going to give you some tools and tricks and how i've incorporated essential oils even into these habits so that they're even more powerful right so it's just incredible so start with a list and put on in four, in, four, in the four categories. So there's the physical category, there's the emotional category, mental and spiritual. And I have also business, but you can put it into your, uh, you know, you can, you can separate these into different categories even more if you want. For example, the physical can be separated into two. The physical body, like what do I want to eat? How do I want to drink? What do I want to drink? Um, you know, how much water do I want to drink per day? All these are micro habits, right? This this doesn't take a second to have a micro habit of drinking more water, but why do we not do it? We know that uh, water, we know the amount of water we need to drink, you know, two, about two liters per day, but we do, you know, how much, how many of us actually do it to support the health? We And it's not only the, it's the quality of the water, how you're drinking the water, right? So, um, so physical habits can be divided into the environment. So what you want to put in your environment and how you want to do it. So for example, green cleaning and essential oils for cleaning, you can be the doTERRA, doTERRA oils can be used for cleaning so you can reduce toxic load. I'm not going to talk about that today, but I will in another video. I'm very, I'm a purist. <laughs> I absolutely need to have, know that I'm not at least building putting chemicals into my body right so i don't use any any products that are not fully bio and you know um 
health, uh, like, you know, um, what do you call them? Um, creams and lotions and potions, right? So I hand make them or I buy from a source that I know. And doTERRA, like I said, is my now my, you know, go to on that because it has amazing products and I can absolutely 100% be, you know, um, uh, satisfied and uh, I'm going to go into the ethical reasons and the reasons why I support it in other ways as well not just the quality of the products but also the benefits you know the benefits they provide but also the reasons why um, they're such a great company as well so write a list now this is an action step for you to take today habits in and habits out Micro habits that heal, they are such an important part of our life and they can t transform your life in such a short period of time if you just commit to once a month putting one of these habits in and replacing it with a habit that you want to remove. So basically you're improving your life twofold with a very, very short period of time. So, and have, like I said, have them in these categories, the physical, the mental, the emotional and spiritual aspects of your holistic health, the pillars, the four, what I call the PEMS, the four pillars of holistic health. So put them in the kind of categories so that you can just holistically heal. You can heal all aspects of your body, mind, emotions, and spirit, right? So we're not just the, going to go but woo woo here, but I'm, you know, absolutely through my healing journey, I have uh, rediscovered spirituality. I'm not religious in any way, form or shape. I absolutely think um, the dogma religion has, anyway, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole, but anyway, caused a lot of wars and suffering. And so I'm very much spiritual. And the journey that I had, like I said, the healing journey has really introduced spirituality into my life. And not only that, I've now able, been finally able to combine science and spirituality, which is my, was my biggest passion and my biggest dreams. Another reason why I like doTERRA's work um, and products is because they're all backed with evidence and science. Um, and you can go and see it. It's all very transparent. So writing your habits now, start to write. As I go through what I, my holistic, you know, healing um, habits are or my um, holistic habits that I incorporate into my life and my daily life I still do and I still and I'm growing these habits all the time so when you see your list you can put some things in but you can also start to track them right you can see oh I did that habit for May that habit's incorporated into my life I no longer have to think about it I no longer have to do it with a consciousness I'm just it's incorporated in my life because 95% of our things that we do in our life is actually from the subconscious mind our habit brain so by putting a habit into incorporating a habit into your life for one month doing it every single day you absolutely bypass you, you you basically bring it in put it put it deeper into your body and you no longer have to think about it and you can just put it um, aside and then build another one, right? So with that, I'm going to take a sip of water, which has got frankincense and uh, lemon inside. Mm. So that's one of my habits. Every single morning, I used to have what's called... Um, <laughs> morning blues or let's say I just you know I was I, I'm not a morning well I used to be not be a morning person I now uh, enjoy mornings but it's given me such a boost in my um, energy and uh, well-being and my mood basically with this kobaiba which is a um, I think it's South American um, a source in South America it's a tree that's very very tall and it has a really, really grounding effect. And I absolutely love it. I put a drop under my tongue in the morning um, when I'm just waking up and I listen to my, what I call, excuse me, what I call my um, gratitude and my uh, abundance song in the morning. And I'll just, I can share that another time. Um, so that I wake up because our conscious mind is not fully engaged yet and we're actually reprogramming we're in a kind of really auto suggestive mood so we can really help and support our health at that level um what else do i want to say so then i get up and i have a, a glass or two glasses of lemon water so i put 
a drop of essential oil lemon. I used to put squeeze. I live in Crete, which has a lot of lemons trees around. And I used to put cut in half a whole lemon and put it in, you know, warm to hot water. And then I would have that. But I noticed it was having an effect on my gums and my teeth and my enamel. So this is like, I don't know how many lemons are inside a one drop, but it's like something like 70. I don't know that I have to look at the, the total, de you know, the absolute number, but it's a lot of lemons in one drop. So this is why you can become so effective in your, you know, boosting your health and supporting your health because you can do it so simply with one drop of oil economically and also, sim you know, easily, basically. So a lemon, and I also use wild orange, another one of my favorite essential oils. Um, well, actually, I don't know what, I can't say that they're all my favorites, but that is just amazing as well. So we can use them uh, in three different ways. We can use them aromatically. We can smell them. We can put a drop in our hands and smell it. We can put them in our water in our, in, you know, internally. And then another way, which I've got here, I haven't got it on because it makes a bit of a, I'll just turn it on now, um, is the diffuser, right? So you can diffuse it in your room. So when I talk about that now, you'll know what it is. I've got frankincense and cobiba, which are my two favorite oils at the moment. Just uplifting, prosper, uh, you know, abundant, uh, create a sense of abundance, um, prosperity, richness um cobiba really helps with the nervous system and just regulating and uh, all the rest of it so it's just an amazing uh, oil i'm not going to leave it on because it does make a bit of a bubble bubbling sound it's actually really it's like having a like a little fountain in your room at night time so i'm not going to leave that on because it might be a bit distracting so um so essential yes then i do my gratitude so i absolutely have my love my gratitude ritual so i get my daughter ready for school i'm not going to go through the whole every single day you know every single moment of my day but i'm going to give you the basics the top top secrets that i use the top health benefits the top that give the, the, the support me in my health um and my holistic health the physical mental emotional and spiritual aspects of my health right so then I go into what's called, I go into the attitude of gratitude. I start writing my gratitude diary. Um, basically, I just start saying all the things I'm grateful for. And I actually have become much, like I said, I've become much more spiritual. So now I don't say, oh, I'm happy for the, you know, the day or being alive, because I don't actually believe that we die. We actually just, you know, reincarnate. I'm not going to show you my diary. I'm not sure where it is now, but the gratitude diary. But I write things like, um, I'm now so grateful that I'm connected more deeply with the essence of life and my essential self and, um, you know, connect to the deeper meaning of life and myself as a kind of, as a form of gratitude, right? So, yes, I'm so grateful that I'm being, that I'm alive today and understanding more and more and, and integrating more and more that I'm not just a, a human body I am a spirit having a human experience. And so I kind of develop on that. And then I obviously I say, you know, the things that I'm grateful for are my daughter, for being a life holistic life coach, for having beautiful clients. I that I love to support, um, you know, for the, the, you know, the life that I have in Crete, um, my big dreams that have become actualized. And then I move on to... Um, the gratitude for the things that are already coming to me so that I elevate my emotions. I dream bigger. I get into my big dream, um, my big purpose, passion in, you know, impact dreams, which is helping people on this planet holistically heal from mind body syndrome and catalyze and alchemize the sense of uh, purpose and passion so that they can actually become their highest self and their greater self and then continue to grow their greatness as i said this is the three um tiers or the three products the three programs that i have that you can be um, that you can get more information on below so um where am i there we go yes and so when i'm doing my gratitude which i absolutely love I then put my one of my favorite um, essential oils and put a drop on my hand. I don't know if you can see that. And I rub it together.
and anchor in this smell into gratitude. So now every time I smell this smell, right, in the diffuser or when I just open the top or I put a drop, um, you know, in my hand again, I absolutely like anchor it. I've anchored in this into with the gratitude and abundance and manifestation, right? So this is absolutely my... Um, so then I do my morning ritual, my exercise, my movement. I have a beautiful um, uh, movement practice. I'm not going to go into that today. Um, so then I, you know, shower, cold shower. Those are some of my uh, super habits. Um, I do a cold shower daily. Uh, what are the other super habits that I have? Let me see. I'm just going to look here. Um... Yeah, lemon in the water, green smoothies, intermittent fasting, um, the soothing tools, the uh, catalyst journaling. So all of these can be, you can just link them up with an essential oil and it's really, really beautiful. So another thing that I had used to have was this kind of a flaky skin on my scalp and scratchy scalp I can't absolutely can't use conventional shampoos I just they drive me absolutely mad I have this constant scratching and constant irritability and then flaky skin and so tea tree and lavender have abs a rinse after you're using after you've you know washed your hair and you can wash your hair with the doTERRA of course shampoos if you want or some other form of you know bio natural product that you prefer um and then the tea tree oil and the essential lab the uh, lavender just really rinsed off like really just soothes the scalp and has been really really helpful for me for that i also had outbreaks under my armpits you know sometimes when you shave and you you know for women or for you know you just have like you know, unwanted odors because I don't like to use antiperspirants. Antiperspirants are really, really, really unhealthy for our health. We absolutely need to perspire. But of course, the smell is not very attractive to people. And I use now oregano, which is an amazing oil um, that I put under. I just put, literally just flip it over the top and then put it under my arm. And I use that to combine with lavender. Both oils are very, very good at soothing. They're very good at neutralizing, reducing any smells and also protection from bacteria. And this is, Oregano has a very lots of anti, antibacteria, anti um, I think it is in Greek, um, fungi and all sorts of things. So it's really, really grateful, for, great for underarm use and neutralizing any unwanted smells. Um, what else? So yes, I've started to use in my, and my oil in my, so I make an oil from, uh, I use olive oil and um, St. John wort flowers, which grow naturally here in Greece. And I make a beautiful red uh, oil from that, that I apply to my face. And I've now put in drops of lavender, cobaiba, um, frankincense, and what was the other one that I used? I think it was lemon which are all rejuvenating and all i can give you the recipes for these by the way they're really really beautiful all rejuvenating all you know anti-age you know they help for support your skin for rejuvenation and and taking away the the the, the gray complexion um they have you know some amazing uh, qualities to build your um radiant complexion and it's really helped with my self-confidence right because now i'm online and i'm doing lots of zooms all the time you know i see myself and before i would have kind of like <laughs> feeling now i don't and i really feel that this has uh, been a massive benefit to my um facial complexion and body skincare routine basically so i use them daily um lavender in the diffuser along with air i haven't talked about air yet air is an amazing blend for airways of course i think i've done some posts wow it's amazing um i've done some posts when i smell air, smelt air for the first time and i literally just you know went into this great this dance because it was just it's such an amazing i use it in my diffuser at night time I'm going to pop it on again. 
I use it in my diffuser at night time, just beside the bed. So it clears anywhere, any, you know, bugs that may be in the air, but also it's a, a drop with, of lavender. So it helps with um, relaxation and soothing, calming. My daughter is very, very active, super active. And I put this on two hours before we go to bed and it's really helping her sleep better. And of course, that helps me sleep better because uh, we actually were doing co-sleeping still. Until we get into our new house, but it's coming. Um, so that's been really helpful. And sometimes when she's really jittery and she's like, you know, a little bit more active um, than usual, I actually um, put a drop of lavender on my hands and I rub them on the soles of her feet. And that's really, really supportive for her body in general in her relaxing to relax a little bit. Uh, more deeply and have deeper sleep so that's really really been benef beneficial for me and of course for her for me as well because I get to sleep better so also there's a beautiful blend here called Zen Jest which is absolutely amazing for any uh, tummy pro problems uh, digestive issues um, I sometimes get, especially around my period, I sometimes get, you know, bloating and feeling like discomfort in my belly after eating something or, you know, sometimes after I've eaten, treated my daughter to a, a ice cream or something, I, I might have a just a, I might have a, a irritate, you know, irritation in my gut. Um, and so Zengest has been really great for that. Digest, anything digestive has been really, really useful. And, show, and she also had a bit of a sore tummy one day after school. And so I gave her just a drop of that with carrier oil on rubbed into her dump tummy. You can also ingest it as well. Um, put it a drop in the water. It's quite strong for children. But And peppermint. Peppermint is also, she loves the smell of peppermint. It's absolute smells. She says it smells like chewing gum. Her grandmother gives her chewing gums anyway amazing it's just so invigorating and powerful um and she and i use that as well in on her stomach um on her feet if she's got any bug you know feeling of you know sore tummy or whatever so i talked about air there's also air x which is um an amazing purification uh it helps to purify the room from mold, any bugs that might be lingering around. If you, someone comes into the house and you want to, you know, make sure you don't get but, uh, sick, a drop of that on your hands, inhale it. You can put it also in the diffuser and you can really, really support your system with, um, you know, an overcome. It, it cleanses the air, basically. It helps to clean and, and uh, neutralize the air. So, and also, of course, because we're talking about chronic pains and aches, um, the blue, deep blue has been absolutely monumental in helping, and you can see on lots of testimonials about this as well, pains and aches and um, muscular pains, um, general pains, uh, linked a uh, drop of that in, um, in some carrier oil and a drop of cobiba. Where's the kabiba? Because it really, really, they really support each other. It has been amazing for overcoming and relieving um, chronic and pains and aches and things like that. So it's been really supportive for my clients. So I highly suggest that you do that. Um, you know, if that's the only one you're going to get, that's it. The essential bat, the guy. So this is the essential home kit that I initially got. It's an absolutely just an awesome kit. I think it's you get two, four, six, eight, ten essential oils plus the diffuser and also a, an essential oils kit, like book that tells you, you know, about the essential oils and how to use them. So you're not kind of left without any instructions whatsoever that comes with the kit. Um, so it's basically the starter kit and it's absolutely amazing. It can be used. Um, in all aspects of your health, um, in supporting your all aspects of your health. I think I've talked about all of them. There's tea tree as well, which I did say. Ah, no, I didn't. So there's, I use now for my, I, so I had receding gums and um, bleeding gums often. 
and I use the on guard which is absolutely awesome for any bugs um, that might be lurking around you know you can again ingest it you can put it on your hands smell it you can put it in your diffuser absolutely amazing smell I use it it's got all sorts of cinnamon cloves. It's a very Christmassy. You can put it in your coffee as a kind of Christmassy smell. <sighs> wow. Um, and I use this now to gargle with after my, as, a, as a mouthwash to mix with tea tree. So these two things together in my um, now mouth uh, washing routine at <laughs> night time. Um, I diffuse, when I'm doing my meditation, I do my uh, meditation in the afternoon every single day. I call it quiet time for my daughter. She loves to have just draw or, um, you know, play with her teddies or she's only set, she's six years old, six and a half. Um, so she plays with her teddies or she, you know, she draws or whatever. And I have this, um, I have, you know, a relaxing lavender or I, uh, um, basically it's oil of my choice in my diffuser while I'm meditating so I have that as an opportunity you know to to really go deeper into kind of uh, the holisticness of meditation again meditation is not about just clearing the mind it's actually going about going deeper and internal so we're living this um, what I call the inside out revolution um, we absolutely are in it and um, we can actually, the more we can go into the um, essential experience of who we are and connect to that and connect to the bigger self rather than mini me, the mini self, the ego, fear, um, low vibrational emotions. I've done a whole training on this about all the, the the calibration of emotions and the ladder of the emotions for the high low vibration emotions versus the high vibration emotions and what they the difference that they have on your physical body so please go and have a look at that math mastering your emotions i'm going to do this training again so anybody who's interested can be can join um i lost my train of thought um so yeah, sorry, the inside out revolution, right? We absolutely need to understand that we are we need to take responsibility for our well-being internally. And a lot of chronic pain issues, especially you know, a mind body in origin, which in fact most unfortunately, you know, this is a kind of an epidemic of a worldwide epidemic of um mind body syndrome psychosomatic disorders um that are plaguing this world because we live in such a triggering world we live in the rat race of just literally doing our job with no satisfaction just doing the things and then paying the bills and not then life expects you know expenses of life are going up and our salaries are not blah 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 so everything's triggering and very very um very, very, um, rather than being in, the in a thriving mode, we're in a survival mode. And the emergent, the nerv our nervous system and our emotions are in kind of like in this emergency state all the time. So um, the essential oils have been really helpful in my moods um, and generally, you know, um, feeling more supported emotionally. Kabaiba has been really, really helpful in that frankincense. Lavender is you know, it's just a, such a cooling, soothing emotion. So we can support the oils don't physic only physically support you. They support you, f you know, mentally and emotionally and spiritually, because as we align to our truer selves, a, you know, a deeper experience of who we are, what we're doing on this planet, our purpose, our passion, uh, and share the world, share our gifts with the world, um, we can step into authenticity. All of these things are really, really um, powerful experiences. And oils have this, the essential oils that really have this amazing ability to support that journey as well. So it's not just the physical and the, you know, in the physical, of course, they support you in, like I said, all these different ways that I showed you. And these are just some, right? These are just part 
of the of how you can integrate it into your life and i'm looking for ways to integrate it even more um and you know using them in different ways and getting ideas for example i used oregano of course oregano grows everywhere in crete um i think they source it from greece actually the oregano um i'm going to talk about that in a minute they um and i use for example i'd put a drop of this in my salt so you can use it for in cooking for example oregano right uh, but it's incredibly potent incredibly powerful so you only need like literally half a drop in your or even just a you know a drop of in your i put it in my salt so that i can have um you know i can just put a tiny bit in basically because it really has a very strong um, and again, there are so many more essential oils. These are just the essential homes kit that I got and I'm now adding to as I go along because I just I want to incorporate them more in my life. There's also turmeric, which is awesome for, um, for supporting your system um, in releasing the um, inflammatory response, which is very, very helpful for chronic pain, chronic uh, symptom issues. Um, yeah, so just know that there is a whole, it's a Pandora's box of uh, opportunities and possibilities to really start playing with and really incorporating them into our daily life from the physical, mental, emotional to support us in all aspects um, of our physical, of our holistic health. So um, they are literally na nature. It, nature's magic into in a bottle they really have amazing um you know i mean i just touched the bottle and they just it smells so strongly and countless applications like i just said uh, aromatically yeah, so smelling them you can put them in topically on your body and your skin for support in that way and then of course you can ingest them so there are loads of different ways that you can incorporate them into your daily life and like I said, I'm not going to go into this at all today, but I absolutely hate using any chemicals in my life. Um, I'm super purist. I have reduced um, and started to use um, these oils in cleaning. And I'm going to do a whole webinar on that because I think it's really, really essential to find ways to reduce our toxic load. Unfortunately, our toxic load is increasing as chemicals increase in our house in our the way you know the things that we eat and the in our air and our water supply and so we have to find ways to reduce that toxic load and so green cleaning with the doTERRA, doTERRA products are just absolutely amazing um so if you can uh, you know post down below as well um or you can dm me ask me any questions that you want so why i do i love doTERRA specifically right like i said i've been a holistic practitioner for many many years and i have used essential oils um you know over periods of my life and but i've never had this experience with them as strongly as i have and this association and this kind of affiliation with doTERRA and i in fact have became an affiliation partner because i am so so power like so overblown uh with the um benefits and how they actually can sooner support us in our holistic life in in all areas of our life and so there is also of course whenever i partner with anybody or do, recommend anything it has to absolutely fit with my um integrity and my ethical i have a high ethical and integrity um value system so it absolutely has to be sustainable it has to be um it ha has to be ethical and it has to be um to better our future that's the only way that i'm going to ever get involved with anybody or affiliation and doTERRA meets all those criterias it has quality of oils that are tested so they are absolutely meet my criteria for you know the scientific side of things knowing that they are absolutely going to be um you know tested for their quality and um maintained their quality maintained they are uh, very very transparent and i love this so you can actually track the oil number um underneath you with a lot number uh, you can actually find where they source it and um you know the specific lot number tells you and you can go online and actually have a look and then you can actually see the co uh, what's called the co-resourcing or sourcing partnership right so they co-resource they help 
the locals from the all over the world they have their they resource their and source their products right but they help the locals so for me this is a very ethical sustainable model it's not just extracting and then selling to you know us elite <laughs> to our very great you know very um the western world right so it i this model doesn't it it's really important that it's ethical right and it's sustainable so it's a sustainable partnership and this co-resourcing resourcing the locals to actually help and you can there's loads and loads of videos about this on on their on their website you can have a look so that's the you know, apart from the potence and purity and profound effects that the essential oils have had in my life um, and my family's life, so my daughters, and now I'm, you know, giving sample bottles to everybody that I meet. Oh, you've got a sore tummy. Here, try this, uh, di you know, this zest, uh, Zen Jest. Uh, you've got a pain in your, you know, take a little drop of this and put it in. So it's been really, really powerful. Um, and I'm so, it's like a little, like I said, a little gift in the bottle. Um, so I'm really, really excited to offer you my link today, which is a 25% discount for if you purchase through my link. And this discount is um, valid for the whole year. So the membership is normally 25. If you, if you get the essential kit, well, you can choose. You can go online and have a look. But just make sure that you go through my link so that I can obviously help you, support you and get your 25% discount today. So the home, I would suggest that you start with the home essential kit. It has 10, these 10 crucial essential essential oils, if we can say that. There's all, they're all essential, but anyway, we start somewhere, we have to start somewhere. Um, you can use them for your, like I said, your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual habits, but also for and tying them in, but also for cleaning and all sorts of things. And they give, it gives you a, a beautiful um, diffuser as well. So that's part of the pack. And I said, I think the essentials guide. So you can have the book as well and see how to actually incorporate the oils. I'm going to be doing more and more of these videos about how to actually incorporate them into your life. So, um, and you will see that once you start, you cannot stop. You won't stop because it's, it's such a... And they're so amazing and so powerful and so helpful and beneficial in your lives. You know, we they um, essential oils have helped me my my child's earache. You know, I don't use antibiotics almost at all. Um, we've um, over we've you know not had to use antibiotics because of the you know um, the essential oils that we use in her to support her earache um, I mean the list just goes on and on right so I just I mean this is just a select few of how I incorporate my daily rituals my habits my habits that my holistic habits that heal and I say heal because I don't think healing is is an ongoing process we have to step into responsibility we have to step into the opportunity to actually transform can catalyze and alchemize our health crisis into the greatest self and this has been the greatest journey for me not only overcoming chronic pain which i now say thank you for because it gave me a, a key, the key and gave me the transformational pathway to a completely different level of self love for self compassion for self unconditional love for others connection with self connection with purpose in my life all these things that I help people guide and guide them through, right? So the, the I've talked about the wisdom of pain is the first program, the healing process that I can help people through to guide them to um, holistic health. And then I have the program, it's a kind of like the um, advanced program, which is from pain to power and purpose, right? So we need to understand that the pain has actually catalyzed us into a powerful self, empowering us to move into our purpose, which is there, which is what the whole, you know, point of this life is to actually identify so that we can get into our holistic, authentic, um, higher version of ourselves and vibrate in a higher frequency and raise the vibration of our world and make this world a better place. So you see that I'm very passionate about this and I would love to help you uh, and sorry, the third level of this um, of the program that I have is from this um, how we can move, how we can continue to grow in our greatness. I love this concept of big uh, dream, big dreams, and I'm 
you know, you can find me on on my uh, Facebook page, which is Grow Your Greatness 1% Every Day with these techniques. But we can, you know, I'm always building and I'm always in in empowering and in inspiring uh, people to dream big dreams so that they can become the actual whole person and the whole, they already are whole. Remember their wholeness, align with purpose, align with passion and, you know, bring in the dreams, catch those dreams that they deeply, deeply desire. So with that, I'm going to love you and leave you um, and see you on the next live or the next video. I do YouTube channel videos almost every day. So if you like this content, if you like um, what you saw, if you um, if you want to reach out to me to understand, you know, to understand how I can help you more, please do so. I'm here to, like I said, take help people take back their health into their own hands and away from big pharma, <laughs> which is kind of really, really, really. I used to be a research and development in research and development. So, you know, I kind of seen the, the scenes behind the scenes. So with that, I love you and leave you and see you next time. Bye bye.